We're going to check in with Jennifer now to see what we need to know heading out. Yeah, so uh, Francis, the main impacts uh, that we were talking about early on this morning with any storms developing was going to be lightning along with heavy rain, but certainly lightning being the frequent or being frequently seen on real time Doppler. I mean, Broward is just covered in lightning, so it's very dangerous conditions. There is also a report that was sent in by Florida Highway Patrol over Alligator Alley as a car was traveling westbound did get struck by lightning. The lightning actually hit the antenna. This is in the report. It discharged underneath the car and hit the ground. And so there are reports that there is damage to the road with a large hole uh, that was caused by that lightning. So a lot of lightning out there. You want to stay indoors. And as far as when is the rainfall going to end, it's still going to take some time. But we're starting to see some rain tapering off in areas like Fort Lauderdale down to Hollywood. Now, Pompano Beach, you're still under some heavy rainfall and over in Coral Springs. It's a little lighter, but it's pretty moderate enough to cause some slippery roadways out there. And if you are in Davie and in Weston, that's where you're dealing with heavy rainfall. So if you do have to head out, I don't recommend it, but if you must, you're going to have to give yourself extra time on those roadways over US 27. Oh boy, it's going to be hard to see with that rain coming down at about two inches uh, of rainfall per hour. So these are high rainfall rates. Now for Miami Dade, it's starting to end for you over Aventura down to the Port of Miami where it was just really heavy moments ago. Also through Southwest Dade, clear skies ahead, but some drizzles will still pass uh, through the area. Now, basically what we're dealing with is an unstable atmosphere in the mid levels and even at the surface. There's a lot of moisture being drawn in by that southwest flow. Plus, we're dealing with a trough of low pressure in the mid levels and along that trough we get these little spins, small little disturbances, and that's why we're dealing with the activity this afternoon. It's a perfect setup to have some widespread thunderstorms. Also, we're dealing with some action in the tropics. We here we have tropical depression number two doesn't look too impressive but uh, it did. It still has, in fact, uh, some chance to upgrade to a tropical storm. If it does, it'll be named Bill. And if it does happen, it will happen within the next 24 hours. But it'll race into the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean, where, of course, there's much colder water there. And so eventually will dissipate. Now, we do have a strong tropical wave just off the African coast, far in the Atlantic, far away from us. Most likely not going to really uh, strengthen because it'll run into some dry air. The other area, though, to watch is over the Bay of Campeche, possible tropical depression later on this week, and it could bring some rain for the Gulf states. What a different picture it is for Key West, though, not dealing with rain, but just uh, partly to mostly sunny skies. As far as our rainfall goes, it should end by tonight. We'll have another round this evening, and then again tomorrow afternoon with some drier weather later in the week.